What's in a name? Nothing. To the computer! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 baby names that have been vetoed by the name police. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're discussing banned baby names around the world. In 2018 in France, a judge ruled that a couple couldn't name their baby girl Liam on the grounds that it would cause gender confusion. And that sort of thing happens more often than you'd think. We've tried to present a variety of examples, and while some of them in our opinion should not have been banned, some seem fair. So it's just McLovin? Yeah. <laughs> a badass. Number 10, Terminator. He may be Arnold Schwarzenegger's most iconic character from one of the biggest sci-fi franchises of all time, but if you were hoping to name your firstborn Terminator, you will be sorely disappointed. Well, at least if you live in the state of Sonora in Northwest Mexico. I'll be back. After looking through the registries of babies born there, state officials compiled a list of band names which they believe may lead to bullying, all of which already belong to Mexican citizens. Hasta la vista, baby. And as if banning the name of one cool futuristic robot wasn't bad enough, you're not allowed to call your child Robocop either. Your move, creep. Ah! Number 9. Damon Now we travel to France, where one couple decided to take their love of a fictional character one step further and name their son after one. It's a very common thing people do, and the character they picked was Damon from The Vampire Diaries. Damon. Hello, brother. The problem arose when they added an E into the spelling after the A to make the name, quote, more French. Oh, mon dieu. Oh, de foof. The authorities said it sounded demonic, the same argument the New Zealand authorities used when they banned the name Lucifer. But the parents protested, and it went to court, where it was ultimately ruled the name had, quote, no satanic connections. So they were allowed to keep it. Number eight, Spatzule. Unlike other Canadian provinces, Quebec has much stricter rules about what parents can and can't name their children, and the Quebec Registrar of Civil Status reviews each and every birth certificate to check that they're appropriate. In 1996, the agency filed a motion to prevent a couple from naming their child Spatzule, or Spatula. Why'd you get to be assistant coach? Because I have this spatula! Ow! However, the parents were so adamant that the name was actually that of a bird the marvelous spatchel tale that they went to court. Unfortunately for the parents, but probably not for the child, the court granted the registrar's motion, and they had to choose something else. Number seven, Metallica. In honor of one of their favorite bands, one of the most enduring and successful ones of all time, a couple in Jutebori, Sweden, decided to christen their baby daughter this um, unconventional name. It was perfectly fine for a few months, but issues arose when they applied for a passport for their daughter, and the Swedish tax authority heard about it and stepped in to try and spare little Metallica tomorrow any bullying later in her life. Surprisingly, the Swedish Administrative Court of Appeals eventually reversed the ban on this name, so we have to assume she still has it today. Number six, Nutella. Yet another couple couldn't escape the reach of a French court of law when they were deciding what to name their child in 2015. The parents wanted to call their daughter Nutella, in the hope that she would embody the sweetness and popularity of the world's favorite hazelnut spread. But one French judge ruled that the name would cause mocking and bullying, and would ultimately lead to a lower quality of life for the girl. They were ordered to shorten her name to the significantly more conventional, and less hazelnutty, Ella. Number 5. Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii this name was so controversial in New Zealand that the government actually assumed guardianship of the girl so that she could be renamed something more ordinary. The parents lost custody of their daughter. Uh, That's a ridiculous name. It doesn't even sound real. Unlike other names on the list, this one was banned after the girl herself, who was nine when the government intervened, complained about being made fun of and said she actually lied and told people her name was Kay to try and avoid ridicule. The court said they were severely concerned about the, quote, very poor judgment shown by the parents, and her new name has not been revealed. Number four, Adolf Hitler. It won't come as a surprise to anybody to hear that this name is banned in many countries around the world. Though a man in the US was free to change his own name to Isidore Heath Hitler, and then also named one of his children Adolf Hitler and another Eva Braun. 
Though in 2008, Adolf and his other Nazi-named siblings were taken into state care. In New Zealand, however, a judge was quoted as saying that names like this are banned to stop children suffering psychological trauma, while in Germany, the name Osama bin Laden has also been banned along with Hitler, for similar reasons. Number 3. Whatever this is. The Flintstone it's actually pronounced Albin, but this 43-character name was submitted for approval to the notoriously strict Swedish naming authorities in 1996, when a couple initially failed to register a name for their son by his fifth birthday, and led to them receiving a fine of around $740. They said the long name was, quote, a pregnant, expressionistic development that they saw as an artistic creation, submitting it in protest of the fine, but the court rejected it. In another bid to avoid the fine, the parents suggested the letter A as the boy's name, also pronounced Albin, but this too was denied. Number 2. At In China, parents aren't allowed to name their children anything with non-Chinese symbols in it, meaning no numbers, no punctuation, and so on. That's why when one couple tried to name their child the at sign, they were promptly banned from doing so. The parents' reasoning for their naming was that in China, at is pronounced like aita, which sounds similar to a phrase in Chinese meaning love him. So they thought the name was a proper representation of how much they loved their child. Regardless of their intentions, however, it still was not allowed. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. There. Stop it. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. Somebody circumcised. Okay. Number one, Linda. Yeah, hi, this is Linda Litsky. In the Western world, this is probably one of the most conventional names out there, but it's actually a lot more controversial than you might think. In 2014, Saudi Arabia published a very long list of more than 50 recently banned names, a list that also includes the names Lauren, Alice, Sandy, and Elaine. The reason the government gave was that the names were, quote, blasphemous, non-Arabic, non-Islamic, or contrary to the country's culture, meaning that Linda was banned just because it was deemed too foreign-sounding and too strongly associated with Western culture. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.